Christine and Eugene, in the autumn years of their lives, are having a crisis in their marriage. Eugene suggests, let's get out of the house for a walk down the beach. I hate the beach, she says. Every time we go, something bites me. A mosquito, bug, or critters in the sand. The beach is about more than bugs, says Eugene. And with that, their VW Beetle is soon parked at the Ocean View parking lot as they stroll upon the shore. Like that time we used to live up here at Ocean View and, and you had to go to Jacksonville for work, says Christine. I wanted to come with you, but you wouldn't let me. As she laments upon a sand dune, a mosquito perches upon her arm. Jacksonville was a dangerous place, Christine. It was no place for the kids. You just wanted to be away from me, says Christine. And just as the mosquito is about to poke its way into her arm, Eugene sits beside her and scares it away. Remember that day before I left? We spent the whole day down here and I convinced you to swim out there where we saw those two dolphins. I forgot about that, replies Christine. I brought you and the kids up to Jacksonville for a weekend. Yeah, but that was only for a weekend, says Christine. Come on, says Eugene. Let's try to make it to the sugar shack before the sun goes down. So further down, Christine catches up. I just remember that time you were working in Westminster for a month without a phone. I was sure you found another woman. And a sand crab scurries up and is about to chomp on her toe when Eugene turns. Yeah, but then I showed up at your doorstep on your birthday and surprised you with that bouquet of flowers. Do you remember that? asks Eugene. I forgot about that, says Christine. The sand crab scurries away. It took 70 hours to get to you and back, and I spent two wonderful hours with you, says Eugene. Yeah, but that was only two hours, says Christine. We arrive in front of a broken little restaurant on the beach, out of business for years, with a hand-painted sign and a heart between the words, Sugar Shack. I wonder what happened to it, ponders Eugene. Things get old, Eugene. They don't stay the way you remember it. Well, I thought maybe we could just have a drink here, like the good old days. Not all the days were good, says Christine. Yeah, you keep reminding me, he says, turning to the marsh across the street, tossing seashells in frustration. You had your experiences, and I had mine said Christine, like the time I came to the sugar shack and you were dancing with Darlene. Suddenly, a V-shaped ripple emerges on the water heading straight for Christine. I forgot about that, says Eugene. And from the water, the lifeless, beady eyes of an alligator closing in on Christine. Well, what do you remember? Frustrated, Eugene launches a shell into the water and scares away the alligator, unnoticed. I remember the way you cried and the love I saw in your eyes that night. That's why I sold the house that year and we moved out to Plainview to leave behind our mistakes so I could dedicate the rest of my life to you. That was 30 years ago. And with that, they leave the sugar shack and Christine reaches her hand out for Eugene. And this little old couple strolls on back toward the VW Beetle. But the ignition doesn't start and as Eugene gets out under the hood, a tiny mosquito lands upon Christine's arm. But just before it bites, he slams the hood shut and it flies away. What was wrong? asks Christine. Nothing's wrong. Sometimes you just need to do some maintenance, he says. Frogs croak and crickets chirp in the night outside their quaint little home. 
A light from the window beckons us inside as they snuggle up in bed. I don't know why you irritate me, but you do, says Christine. And you know what? I just realized, for the first time in my life, I made it through a whole day at the beach, and nothing bit me. No bug, no crab or sand critter. And just as she's reaching up to turn out the lamp, Eugene lowers his mouth on the ball of her shoulder, poised to take a bite. Not a single thing bit me. And as she switches off the light, he chomps down on her shoulder. And she screams, Eugene! And he turns to the love of his life and says, and as long as I am here, nothing else ever will. <laughs>